Hello and welcome to New Bike Day and Cycle of the Bus. So it's now about, I've been awake for about an hour and a half. It's like seven o'clock. I'm on my way to Persco to pick up my new bike, which is a road bike. And I will let it out of the bag now because it's probably in the title. A Dolan DR1 road endurance slash race bike, full carbon. like Christmas <laughs> um, so I'm going to get some breakfast we'll get in the car fly over there get the bike back here I'm going to put my saddle on um, well I might even leave the saddle that it comes with just to test it and see how comfortable it is but I have got my own saddle put the pedals on my saddle bag and then we're going to go and have a ride and I think we might be going catching up with uh, with Phil Cromber who was in the last video because he's got a road bike as well so yeah excited i know this will not float a lot of your boats and there's not going to be a mega amount of road bike videos coming on the channel so please stick around uh, the channel will predominantly be mountain biking but i do enjoy road bikes as well and how far they can take it and how fast they can take it so yeah stick around and enjoy this video well i'm in the car i'm on my way over I'm saying an hour and seven minutes supposed to be there for 10 but I've just realised they open at 9 o'clock and I want to get there early <sighs> so excited guys proper proper excited I've never had a road bike as good as I've only ever had one road bike but my last road bike just quickly while we're driving I'll tell you about it so it was a giant contend SL2 running Shimano Tiagra 10 speed it was an alloy frame, cost a thousand pounds at the time. To be fair, it was a good bike, it took me on a lot of good rides, but I got made an offer. I put it up just to see roughly what I'd get for it. I put it up at 800 quid, because it is in mint condition, like I've really looked after it. Um, just recently it had a new rear mech, new cables, brake fluid change, new pads, new bottom bracket, um, new chain, I'm not sure whether they said that, new rear cassette. Um, yeah, it was. It was. It was a real good bike. A few scuffs, what you'd expect for its age, but other than that, it was in good condition. Anyway, sold the bike for six hundred pound, and for the last eight weeks, I've had no road bike. I've been commuting on a full suspension mountain bike, which hasn't been fun. Let me tell you, it's been a slow, slow journey. Bike. Uh, it had hydraulic, like a hybrid hydraulic uh, brakes on it. it. From the lever to the cable, from the lever to this head unit was in the middle, which I'll show a picture of now was a cable and then from that unit down to the actual caliper it was hydraulic it was an ugly looking thing but anyway it's time to up the game now and get something get something a little bit special anyway this looks like it's going to take for ages because the traffic's horrendous i'll come back to you at dolan Let's go in and get it. Um, itching. Got a big smile behind this mask. So there she is, guys. Beautiful. We'll do more of that later. But look at these. This is the one I wanted. That's not available till November. That's replacing mine. My stunning. I love this. No, no cables some beautiful bikes look at that that looks beastly they make Zach like that so um yeah change of plan i'm gonna get it back home and uh and get it in the uh bike stand and then i'll show you around it but good god it's beautiful it's really nice the rear hub sounds incredible proper ticker so before i go and get ready to go on a ride let's do a quick bike check and show you just set it up put the pedals on it looks sick let's start from the top so we've got carbon state post uh, with the Salitalia saddle, that's going to be getting changed out. I think it's a bit narrow for me, but I am going to go on a ride and just test it. 
if not later on when I get back. I have got my saddle from my last bike, a Bontrager ALUS Elite. <coughs> We've got Vision wheels, the Team 35s, which you get as standard with them. Now the standard tyres I didn't want, so I upgraded them for the Grand Prix Four Seasons, mainly because I'm going to be commuting on it over winter. Uh, but next summer I'll change them out and put the GP 5000s on. We've got an 1132 cassette that probably will get changed out for a 34 or a 36 just because I'm an heavy rider but we'll see how it goes up the hills with this. We've got the full Shimano 105 drivetrain as you can see Shimano 105 crankset, Shimano 105 rear mech and a Shimano 105 front mech. I can't tell you too much about the wheels just yet but I'll show you through the hub while I'm here. It sounds mint. Listen to that. Oh, incredible. Shimano 105 brake calipers. And then on the back I've got a 140mm disc, which is the Ice Tech ones from Shimano. And then on the front we've got a 160 and a Shimano... 105 caliper again it's got 12 mil through axles and then up on the top of the bars i've gone for a, a slight upgrade on the bars so i've gone for the level one which is only like 20 30 quid extra um, and i got the upgraded bar tape it's got shimano 105 uh brake levers and shifters press fit bottom bracket yeah i'm I'm, I'm, I'm elated, elated. I just need to get out now and go for a ride. So I'm gonna go and get ready, get some food, and we're gonna get out and go for a ride. So, uh, I got carried away then. I've just done four miles, averaging 18 mile an hour. Uh, got carried away. <laughs> there is a noise in it though. I think it's the front back. <clears throat> when I put it in the car, I put it next side down like an idiot but I turned it over immediately I don't know if I've just slightly pushed it but uh, just on the way to Phil's and I'll uh, sort it out when I get there so uh, I'm going to save battery come back to you when I'm at Phil's my initial reaction is awesome so I've just done my first effort on a climb uh, I don't know if I've gone up any faster. However, I give it my all. Still breathing out my ass, but I guess the segment time will tell. That's what I've done up here before, anyhow. But Phil's right up there. He's just fit as a fiddle, that lad. Wearing his bloody mountain bike gear as well. Anyway, right, I'll come back to you on the descent. There's a good one coming up shortly. So, we're at the top of the climb for Old Bets now. Uh, there's Old Bets there now. And we're just coming into a fast descent this. Now we've got Tailwind. So, we're currently doing 23 mile an hour. 25.
adjusting. Pedal, 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 go, 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 go. Ale, 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 ale. Right. To be fair, the bike felt really good and stable then. Uh, proper inspiring. inspiring. Um, yeah, so that's my first fast descent. That felt good. At last, GoPro's decided to turn on. Honestly, it's doing my head in this thing. I've had it two years now and uh, it just keeps going off. And the nine, really like the look of it. Love that front facing camera. I love the picture quality of what I've seen so far. Obviously that's been uploaded to YouTube so it's lost some of this quality but yeah uh, overall mega mega impressed with what I've seen but I want to see one in the flesh. Anyway my bike flipping awesome honestly I just got a couple of little minor adjustments to do but that going down there that was incredible leaning right into corners barely even broke for some of them uh, it was just ripping obviously a lot of that's down to the tyres but the geometry and everything else take apart the brakes are good as well especially now they're uh, slowly bedding in <laughs> right I think Unless we do another fast descent, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to come back to you at home. Russ has called a tactical stop. It just happens to be at Weatherspoons. So he's gone to get some Jaeger bombs and a couple of pints, port scratchings, because he said he doesn't want to have a calorie deficit at the end of the ride. So we're just topping it up as we go. There's his new bike. Very nice. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Anyway, I was just saying to Phil, the bike's been descending, it just wants to go faster. So about 45 mile an hour, I was doing. Climbing's all right, but I've got this to get rid of and it'll let me go up the climbs faster. Um, flats, it just, just cruises along. And also what I've noticed compared to my Alloy bike is on rough terrain, on the Alloy version, on the old Giant, you could feel every single bump on that. It seems to dampen it. I think that's probably because of carbon. Am I right in thinking that, Phil? Yeah, yeah, Phil's nodding his head. I've got Coach Phil behind the camera. But yeah, love the bike. Still got a lot to learn about it. I need to get the setup. It needs tweaking. That saddle is getting burnt because it's horrible. It just, it's just trying to attack me and split me in half. But I always find that with narrow saddles. My Monterey's just going on. Anyway, so I'm going to end the video here while I have this shander. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers Phil, thanks for coming out and destroying me. And yeah, I will be back soon with a new video, which may be road, maybe mountain bike, I don't know. It depends how well I heal up. There'll be links popping up here and there'll be a playlist at the end with uh, my latest videos. And yeah, stay safe on the trails. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.